Hello all. Welcome to the Bill and Franz show. I'm Franz. And I'm Bill. And we just wanted to um, sit down and you know talk to America because we're average Americans and <laughs> and we just wanted to get our opinion and views out there about what's going on with our country. Man, Bill, did you see the um, the presidential state of the union? Uh, State of the Union's back in January. He spoke last night, but I was uh, yes. I was not I did not watch that last night. I was rehearsing with the musicians. Okay, okay. But I watched it last night, mm -hmm. yeah, man. He said some very very difficult stuff. He kind of addressed millionaires, billionaires, and uh, tax on corporate jet owners and stuff. How that stuff needs to be eliminated in order to bring down the deficit. Mm -hmm. And he kind of told the Republicans, Republicans. <laughs> He told them to do their job. <laughs> what is their job? To be leaders. To leave the country out of this mess and stop playing politics and do your job. Mm -hmm. And so when I watched that, I thought, those are really harsh words. What do you, I mean, you know, what's your opinion on our, our state of emergency or whatever? Well, for me, the, the Republicans, I, to me, I think he, he may have said it in more fancy words, but I believe that he, he tends to say, if you're talking about um, balancing the budget, then you've got to also raise the taxes on all those rich people, because, and maybe even everyone, in my opinion, everyone should be paying more taxes, because we got, it's, the, this country, which claims to be so free and, you know, burdened by taxes, is actually, has one of the lowest tax rates for the industrialized West, Around. Right. So stop complaining and you know, do your part. Right, do your part. I, 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 don't, I totally agree with that. Because then that might bring more money to, for people to invest in America so we can get more jobs. I don't know what's going to happen because what I look at right now is we have two parties who are loyal to their party and are loyal to us, the American <laughs> people, who are going through some things. But um, we have a long way to go and maybe something good to happen out of this, who knows, mm -hmm. you know. Man, um, I was sitting, but on another note, I mean, because, you know, we can't solve the uh, American economy crisis in one day, especially us two, we're average Americans. We have good good answers, we have good... Um, things to say. Good things to say. <laughs> but, you know, we are not empowered to get anything implemented. Those that are in power we need to implement something. You know, something needs to be changed. It really does. But anyway, on another note, um, man, I was to school today, and the teacher was a plus. The class is more like a humanities class, and the teacher asked, "Should I say this on camera?" Why not? Okay. Um, the teacher asked, um, "Who watched the uh, the president's speech last night?" And I was the only African American that raised his hand. Everybody else didn't, you know. Saying there was some. Um, Caucasian Americans that watched it, is, is, you know, watched it too. But then when he asked who watched the BET Awards, all the hands went up <laughs> of, of, of the African American students, and I was totally embarrassed because I felt like, I mean, that's it's okay to be informed about what's going on with the celebrities. I guess that's cool, whatever. But to not be informed about what's going on with the country and know what's going on with Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. We need to get our priorities straight, y'all. That's all I'm saying. I'm not judging anybody, but we need to get our priorities straight. And how many uh, white people uh, said they watched the BET Awards? None. <laughs> <laughs> none. <laughs> none, white, none, of, none of my own white brothers or sisters <laughs> watched the BET Awards, and I didn't even watch the BET Awards, so I mean, you know. I, but I think there's more pressing issues. It's okay to have fun, and that was fun. That would be if I did watch it. That would be something that's more fun to watch and enjoy, just to see the shows and the performances and stuff like that. But I don't really get off into that stuff. I get off more into what's going on, what's real, you know, because the, the entertainers are gonna just that's what they do. They entertain. They don't have to worry about um, paying their house note. They don't have to worry about <laughs> paying their car note or paying for gas. I do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's how I look at that, y'all. You know. What else is on your mind? Well, man, it's hot. It is it, hot. St. Louis summer, it's back. It is back. It's humid. And believe me, I know you see the background of our set is beautiful green. 
But I'm telling you, it's beautiful green hot. <laughs> and, and, yeah, I mean, it's cool. You know, it's cool. I, I Right now, you know, I, like I said, I talk about all these different things that I'm concerned with, but really, I'm just looking at life right now in a positive way because I know if I look at it negative, maybe I'll go slap, you know, slip my wrist or something because it's, it's just one of those things that things can get bad, but I'm not going to do that because I look at life in a positive way. So for those out there who are going through their problems and you don't know what to do, and there's there's only one thing you can do because problems are not going to go away overnight. Sometimes you just have to turn that negative energy into positive energy and decide no matter what's going on, I'm going to try to look up and be grateful for something. It can always be worse. It always can be worse. <laughs> You know, all you got to do is turn the TV on to one of those channels that show the little kids starving in Africa or the little kids starving in India, you know, um, and you can always see somebody's life is worse than yours, you know, yeah. you know. Every day you wake up, if you can wake up, then you're better off than a lot of people. I mean, yes, yes. Life's a gift. From what I understand, and Bill, you tell me if I'm wrong, but our poor, American poor people are not poor, like really poor compared to third world nation poor, you know. And so with that in mind, with just that little bit of knowledge right there, maybe you can look at your life and look at your situation a little better because definitely there are millions of people whose situation is way worse than yours. True, true. you are not wrong. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and man, whoo. See, we had to, I had to do that, y'all. We had to take a little break and just breathe because I don't know if you see the, well, man, ain't no sweat. Yeah, you can see our, we're all shiny. Know? Yeah, you know, we're starting to shine. Like I got home, like a <laughs> olive oil on me or something. <laughs> but, but yeah, man, so we're not going to keep holding you on this time. You know, we're going to get back to you every now and then and let you know what we're thinking. And hopefully, you know, you get back to us. Talk to us about, you know, get back to us. You know, give us some type of feedback and we would appreciate it. You know? Mm -hmm. So, all right. I'm good. Well, God bless. Good night. And hope everything is all right. All right. Bye bye.